I'm Kelsey from RoughandTumbleFarmhouse.com and today I'm going to try and spruce up an old chair. So here is the chair in question. It's one that I got at a garage sale for I think five dollars. My husband has always hated it because he says it's too low to the ground, which it kind of, it is kind of low, but I like it. I think it's a cool chair and you can tell it had some painting, some stenciling done on it before. Uh, so I'm going to try and sand this off and just clean it up in general. There's Nick, uh, Nick the cat. And so what I'm going to do is just sand this down and then I have some paint. We're just going to whip on top of this thing and see if we can give this thing just a little more charm and clean it up a little bit. So first things first is I did give it a good sanding down. If you're doing wood furniture and it already has kind of a lacquer or something on it, it's a good idea to sand it down because otherwise if you just paint right on top, as it continues to chip more, your new paint is just gonna come right off. So I just use this little handheld electric sander, works really nicely. It's a good idea to wear a mask when you do this because you get a lot of little dust particles coming up. And do use a rounded shaped one like this one. You're not quite able into all the little nooks and crannies like a chair like this has. So I did have to use just some sandpaper by hand and go in there and clean up some of these little spots here. The next thing I did was just take a dry paint brush to wipe away all of the little bits of sanded parts. And then I didn't have enough of this to do the whole chair, so I, this is a base coat. So you see I put it on pretty thinly here. Spray paint is good for outdoor furniture. If you're using just another standard paint, you typically want to do a primer. Spray paint you can just put straight on and it works well. So basically I'm using the spray paint as a primer for the next paint that I'm going to use here. This is a pretty stark white spray paint. And then I decided to actually go with a bit of a warmer tone, so I got this cashew just because the white looked just a little too white in our front porch area. So nothing fancy here, <laughs> just pour an old bowl and putting on a coat. It took a single coat and then a little bit of touching up later. I would recommend if you are doing a chair like this to back first because when you do these, your brush tends to kind of hit, you know, the top part of the chair. And so I had to go back and smooth that out. So spindles first maybe, and then do the other parts. And here is how it turned out. And I think it looks pretty good. All right, so that's it. Pretty simple, nothing too fancy, but hopefully a little inspiration for you if you happen to find that perfect chair at a garage sale. It just needs a little bit of love. Thanks again so much for watching. You can always find a new video here every week and two posts over on the blog about farming, family food, and fortitude here at our Rough and Tumble Farmhouse.